Well, yeah, so let's talk about this. What is the mood of this song? Uh, what is mood? The mood is like saying la onda, el sentimiento de la canción. Es oh, una canción okay. feliz, alegre, triste, romántica. Okay. What would I you think... say the mood of the song is? Okay. Um, is es triste? It's a little sad. Claudia English, little... welcome back to the United okay. States. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sad, right? It's a little sad, yeah. It's sad because he's singing about not being home, not being with his family, mm -hmm. being gone until November. What? Why does he leave until November? No entendí esa parte. Why does he leave until November? I, I think it's for work. Yeah, it is for work, exactly. <clears throat> Claudia, do you ever leave your family because of work? Um, you say, do you leave? Or relief. Leave. Leave. Do you leave? Yeah. Do you ever leave your family because of work? Um. Yeah. And then go brush your chompers. No. No. Mm -mm. So why did you come to the United States? Oh. Why no? Huh? I'm sorry. Um. Uh, I think my family, my son, my daddy, my husband. Oh, your but, family, your family. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, um, you know, I think we all make sacrifices for work. Mm -hmm. We all make sacrifices for work. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in long distance relationships? Um. What is belief? Uh, creer. Creer. Okay. Como yo creo que es bueno o no es bueno? Es tu opinión. ¿Qué tú crees? Well, do, you, do you believe in long distance relationships? Mm, no, I think it's, it's no good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, Caro, when is your birthday? Uh, Claudia, Claudia. Uh, you know, Caro, Caro sent me, I think she has COVID. Oh. She, she sent me a message last week saying she felt really bad, so I don't know. Okay. When is your birthday? Uh, my, my birthday is in September 25th. Okay. Uh, if you say the, the specific date, you say on. My birthday is on September 25th. Okay, my birthday is on September 25th. Claudia, what day is it today? Uh, it is um, 18 January. It is January 18th. January. Entonces yeah. dice el mes but, but the day, that's the date. The day mm -hmm. is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Okay. What day is it today? Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Okay. What month is it? Um, January. It is. It is January. Mm -hmm. And January. what is what is January. today's date? Ah, uh, eighteen. <laughs> Yeah, today is January 18th. What is your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite holiday is uh, Christmas. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, so we talked about describing your house in this level, right? So here's my example. My house is small. It's located in Denver in the Montbello neighborhood on Deep Haven Court. 
It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. They are very small. The kitchen is nice and everything is new. The living room is big. It doesn't have a dining room or a laundry room. It has a big backyard, but it needs a lot of work. I have plans to fix it up. There's a tree in the front yard. Um, so your turn. Tell me about your house, Claudia. Okay. Uh, my house is big. Um, it has four bedrooms and uh, two bedrooms. Mm, it has, uh, I'm sorry, two living rooms. <laughs> and it, ha yeah. it has- Normally, so, you know, normally we, we wouldn't say that it has two living rooms. It, and a house that has two areas like that, we would usually okay. call one the living room and then one, um, some people call it a den, some people call it a family room, some people call oh. it an entertainment room. It kind of depends on what you want to call it, but it's, uh, okay. I, don't think, I don't think most Americans would say it has two living rooms. Okay. We call one of them some other kind of room. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, it has laundry room, uh, dining room too, and backyard and front yard. Okay, it sounds nice. In the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, how's it, what's the kitchen like? Uh, it's new one too. It's a new kitchen? New kitchen. New yeah. or remodeled, newly remodeled? Uh, no, it's new. It's new. Okay, so your your house is a new house then, new yeah. construction. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Good. Claudia, in this level, we've learned a lot, right? We've talked a lot about American culture, American uh, English grammar, and then lots of different vocabulary topics. So let's review these right now. What is your name? My name is Claudia. Where are you from? I am from Mexico. Where do you live? I live in Colorado. What do you do? I, I'm the owner for ice cream shop. I'm the owner of an ice cream shop. Of an ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. And what is something interesting about you? Um, I miss interesting um, learning. No, no, no. What is something interesting about you? Not what are you interested in? What is something interesting about you? What is something unique oh, yeah, about yeah. Claudia? Um, <laughs> I don't know. something different? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> mm, I am disciplined. <laughs> You're very disciplined? Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Are you married? Uh, yes, I am married. Do you have kids? Yes, I have um, three children. Do you have a big family? Uh, yes, I have a big family in Mexico. <clears throat> okay, that was my next question. So your family lives in Mexico, uh, most of your I, family? Yes, <laughs> my family lives in Mexico. Describe someone in your family. Mm -hmm. Uh, my brother is um, skinny. He's um, he has uh, brown eyes. Uh, he has uh, brown hair. Then he's sociable. Okay. Very good. Do you like to cook? Yes, I like to cook. Do you like to work? Uh, yes, I like to work. Do you like to paint? No, I do not like to paint. Do you like to write? Uh, yes, I like to write. Do you like to dance? Yes, I like to dance. Do you like to draw? Um, I don't know what is draw. Uh, dibujar. 
it will have <laughs> uh, no i do not like draw <laughs> i do not like to draw make sure you say to to, to draw okay do you like to eat uh yes i like to eat <laughs> you like to drink um no i do i do not like to drink do you like to sleep yes i like to sleep do you like to travel uh yes i like to travel do you like to sing mm, yes i like to sing do you like to swim uh yes i like to swim do you like to walk in the park yes i like to walk in the park do you like to run in the park uh, yes <clears throat> i like to run in the park do you like to listen to music um, yes i like to listen to music do you like to ride horses or bikes i like to ride bikes do you like to play an instrument or a sport um, i like the sport i like to play to play uh, basketball okay good i like to play basketball do you like to hang out with friends uh yes i like to hang out my friends yes i like to hang out with hang out with friends mm -hmm. do you like to talk on the phone mm, yes <laughs> i like to talk on the phone <laughs> all right um, some alternative ways to tell time and sound a little bit more American would be to say things like it is one o'clock, it is a quarter past one, it is a mm -hmm. half past one, or it is a quarter till two. Claudia, what time is it? Number one. Uh, it is 1.15. Number two. Um, and don't forget the, the new way to say it would be to say it is a quarter past one. Quarter past one. It is a one. quarter past one. Number two, what time is it? It is uh, called, mm, I forget. <laughs> um, called up, I forget. Uh, no sé si es antes, como es antes. <laughs> so normally we'd say until, it's a quarter until four. Until. Necesito aprender eso de memoria. <laughs> Number three, what time is it? Uh, it is four. It's four fifteen. <laughs> or. Or. Four. Cora pass. It is a cora pass. Um, four. I'm sorry. All right, number four. It is six forty-five, or it is a quarter until seven. Good. All right. Remember your possessive adjectives: my, your, his, her, its, their, and our. Number one, Claudia. Our friends are here. I don't want to go out with my friends. Is that your husband? Tom is from here, but their parents are from Argentina. No. Um, ¿De quién son los padres, Claudia? Mm, de él. Theirs. ¿Cómo se dice su de él? De él. Yours. Absolutamente no. No. No porque no le estoy diciendo a él, sino estoy hablando de él, ¿verdad? Está hablando de los padres que pertenecen no. a él. De ellos sería... No, está... No, Claudia, ¿por qué estás cambiando? Ya te dije, fue de él, no de ellos. De él. Uh, ya tú dijiste de ellos he, con there. But his parents are from Argentina. I'm his, sorry. <laughs> his. Claudia, 
yo llamé mucha atención a esto cuando estamos, cuando hicimos esta actividad, ¿ok? Sí, perdón. Tiene que memorizar este cuadro. Ok. Yo llamé mucha atención con, cuando hicimos esta actividad, como siempre. Uh -huh. Y es una, es una área, Claudia, si tú no estudias estas palabras, hasta ahora, si tú no sabes que his, es decir, su de él, es que no estás estudiándolo. Sí. ¿Verdad? Perdón. <ríe> Perdón. Apunten, escriben todo esto. No, no. Okay. Eso no me afecta a mí. Eso tú tienes que pedir perdón a tú misma. Ya yeah, sé. Sí. Yo ya lo sé. Yo no soy la persona que está perdiendo aquí. Tú estás pagando clases y no estás, ¿me entiendes? Sí, no estoy tú. Ahora, tú estuviste de vacaciones en México dos semanas, yo lo entiendo, pero especialmente cuando yo llamo atención a algo así, es que tú tienes que ponerte las pilas y, y estudiarlo. Ok. Yo no estoy bravo. Debería de estar contento porque es decir que tú tienes que estudiar más conmigo y pagarme más dinero. <risa> sí. <risa> ok, ya lo apunté. Ok. Recuerde que, que los, los adjetivos, <risa> otra parte es que es, tenemos un par de confusiones aquí entre español e inglés, ¿no? Uh -huh. Por uno... En español, los adjetivos posesivos corresponden más al objeto que está describiendo. En inglés, corresponden más a la persona de quien pertenece el objeto. ¿Ok? okay. Otra cosa es que en inglés tenemos palabras diferentes para su. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Su de él significa una cosa en inglés. Su de ella significa otra cosa. Su de una cosa significa otra cosa. Y su de ellos es otra cosa todavía. Y realmente podemos poner su de usted aquí también. Así que ustedes tienen una palabra para cinco palabras en inglés. Por eso yo siempre llamo, llamo mucha atención. Porque este es un área que si uno lo estudia, lo, lo aprende y lo domina. Y si no lo estudia, nunca lo va a hablar bien. Y yo tengo alumnos que, que entran en niveles intermedios y avanzados. Que realmente dominan el inglés, pero aquí no saben la diferencia entre his y her. Mm -hmm. Y es un área que puede ser ofensivo a un, un americano, porque si estás hablando de él y usas la palabra femenina, pues imagínate. Por eso yo, yo, yo sé que yo expliqué esto muy bien, porque yo me acuerdo hablar con ustedes y es que es algo que siempre llamo la atención. Aunque yo, yo explico esto muy bien y llamo mucha atención, la mitad de mis alumnos me hacen caso y la mitad no. Yo no quiero que tú seas uno de los alumnos que no aprende eso. Porque okay. si tú estudias las palabras. Mío misma, tú o tú, your, su de él, his, su de ella, her, su de una cosa, es, su de ellos, their, nuestro, our. Es, es, tiene que repasar y repasar esto. Vamos de nuevo. Okay. Número uno. Our friends are here. I... I do I don't want to go out with my friends. Is that your husband? Tom is from here, but uh, his parents are from Argentina. These are our sons. Where is your mother? My sister is hungry. They are nice people, but eat stock are hungry. Tú estás pensando en los perros y no en los dueños. No, en, okay. Uh, they are nice people, but so, 
Su de quién, Claudia? Su de ellos. Su de, de ellos. ¿Cómo es? They talks are angry. Cuando tú llegas a decir su, tiene que pensar de quién. ¿Ok? Ok. Claudia, el verbo be, ser o estar, se usa para hablar de las profesiones de uno, ¿no? Uh -huh. So, in the singular form, we have to understand that English uses the article a, okay? For example, I am a teacher, right? Oh, okay. He is a uh -huh. server. She is a boss. David is a chef. You are a landscaper, okay? Mm -hmm. In the plural form, we don't use the article. So we can say, <laughs> we are dishwashers, they are managers, you are housewives. So let's practice here. We've got the first one done for you. She is a teacher. Try number two. No le entendí esa explicación. En el plural, cuando es... Cuando es, no se usa la A. Exacto. Cuando es uh, una sola persona. Si es una persona sola, se usa la A. La, la A, ok. En muchas no se usa la A. En plural. Ok, ahora sí. Uh, We are chef, chefs. You, <clears throat> you are a housewife. I am a student. We are dishwasher. Luke is a carpenter. They are bosses. You are a housekeeper. Housekeeper. I am a landscaper. Daniel is a manager. Good. All right. When we're in the third person, remember you need to put your S, put the S on the verbs, right? For example, my dad is a drummer. He likes to play drums. Claudia, what does your dad like to do? Uh, my, my that likes uh, play basketball. Likes to? Likes to play basketball. What does your mom like to do? Uh, my, la my mom likes to cook. What does your best friend like to do? My best friends like, likes to Teacher or dar classes? Teaches? Like, likes. <laughs> likes. Teacher, teacher is el título, la profesión, no es el verbo. Okay. No put it like, as she likes to teach her. No. Um, uh, she likes uh, dance. <laughs> Pero como se dice, le gusta enseñar. Le gusta enseñar. Uh, she likes um, teach. ¿Te falta algo, Claudia? Teach. ¿Con ese? ¿O teaches? No. No sé cómo se dice enseñar. To teach. To teach. Tan fácil, ¿verdad? Okay, she likes to teach. Likes to teach. I'm sorry. <laughs> How much is the car? The car is 7,988 dollars. How much is the SUV? It's $6,379. How much is the car? Uh, it is 
dollars. Dollars. How much is the car? <clears throat> it is $2,543. How much is the van? It is $3,495. Okay, is he cold? Uh, no, he's not cold. Is she hot? Uh, no, she's not hot. She's cold. Is she thirsty? Uh, yes, she's thirsty. Is she hungry? Yes, she's hungry. She is? She is hungry. Is she sleepy? Uh, no, she's not sleepy. Is he sleepy? Uh, yes, he's sleepy. Is he in a hurry? Yes, he's in a hurry. Is he scared of snakes? No, he's not scared of snakes. Is she scared of snakes? Yes, she's scared of snakes. Is he right? Uh, yes, he's he right. Aquí que dice wrong? Oh, no, he's not right. <laughs> Is he right? Is he wrong? Uh, no, he's not wrong. <laughs> Is she 20 years old? No, she's not 20 years old. Is she embarrassed? Um, no, she's not inverse. Okay. Para formar preguntas con el verbo be, puedes recordar la regla de aquí. Okay. Aquí tenemos una oración positiva. You are a student. Para mm -hmm. preguntarle a una persona, ¿tú eres una alumna? Tenemos que invertir el sujeto con el verbo. Y sería así. Are you a student? Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos a practicar así. Are you a student? Yes, I am a student. No, I am not a student. Okay. Yo sé que esto es repaso porque aprendimos el verbo be en el segundo nivel. Pero bueno, como es un verbo irregular, tenemos que seguir repasándolo. Okay. Recuerda que se usa be como ser. Right? We use ser or to be to talk about time, dates, descriptions, professions, compositions, and, and origins where people are from. Uh, we use the verb be like estar to talk about location, emotions, and conditions. Uh, and then in certain conditions, certain situations, we use the verb be instead of tener or hacer in English to talk about weather and conditions, right? For example, location, we use words like next to, in between, in, close to, or far from, along with the verb be, to say things like, I am in Denver. Where is Utah? Utah. Is, um, So you are here, you're in Denver. Uh -huh. Where is Utah? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know where Utah is, Claudia? It's, it's, uh, it's next to Colorado. It's west, yeah, it's oh, next west. to Colorado. It's west of Colorado. <laughs> Where's Florida? Florida is... Um, Next to no is um west to Colorado. West would be this way. Oh, is it west of Colorado? Is it over here? East of Colorado. It is east. Yes, really southeast, southeast of Colorado. Where's California? California is um, <clears throat> north to Colorado. California is north of Colorado, Claudia. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Soy muy mala para los mapas. <laughs> this is California over here. Okay. Is west of Colorado? <laughs> Where is Texas? Texas. 
Listo. North to Colorado. Texas is north of Colorado. Oh, Colorado. North? Up here? <clears throat> this is Texas. Okay. Texas is west of Colorado. West? No, I'm sorry. Uh, south of Colorado. Oh, oh my gosh, Claudia. <laughs> Where is New Mexico? Uh, New Mexico is next to Colorado. Yeah, it's next to, it's or, below Colorado. I would say uh, it is below Colorado because it's uh, right here. Either. All right, where is Georgia? Georgia. I don't know. Where is Georgia? Georgia is above Florida. Okay. Claudia, how old are your kids? Uh, my kids, um, the little one uh, is three years. Uh, the middle, a uh, girl is 24. 21, sorry. <laughs> a, and my son, he's 25. You have a you have a three year old, and then the next one is twenty one. Wow, Claudia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, when the three year old goes to third grade, you can help her with her geography classes, and then you can learn the maps. <laughs> okay, emotions. Okay, I am happy. Let's practice with our emotions and conditions. The bottle is empty. Weather, it is hot today. So how's the weather, Claudia? It is cold today. Uh, Look at the picture, Claudia, in the picture. Oh, it is <laughs> rainy. Right. Here it is cold, here it is cold. What? It is rain, rainy. It is rainy, good. Rainy. Uh, it is snowy. It is... Vientoso es lo que estamos buscando. Sí, vientoso, pero olvidé la palabra. Um, How do you say? Viento, win, 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 winter. Uh, winter es el invierno. Es el invierno. Ven. How do you say vientoso, Claudia? Raining, raining. Eso es lluviosa. Lluvioso, rainy. Mm, necesito ver mis. How do you say? Pero pregúntame, Claudia. How do you say ventoso? Oh. Okay, windy. Windy. It is windy. Windy. How is the weather? Uh, it is sunny. Eh, queremos calmado aquí. Calmado. It is calm? Calm, oh, yeah. How is the weather? Uh, it is... Mm, um, cloudy? Cloudy? How's the weather? It is sunny. How's the weather? It is freezing. <laughs> Probably right, but here we're just going to say it is cold. <laughs> How is the weather? Uh, it is 43. I'm not asking what the temperature is. Okay. How is the weather? Um, it is. So like if this is cold, uh -huh. how is the weather here? Between 36 to 51 degrees. Um, I forget the word. The alvidela chili. Chili, chili to say it's not fresco. Fresco. Okay. How's the weather? It is um, hot. 
not hot. 70 degrees, I wouldn't call hot. It is warm. I'm sorry. How is the weather? It is hot. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, physical description. She is tall. So what is the opposite of beautiful? Beautiful. Um, um, como hermosa. Or, or, but what's the opposite? Owl. Beautiful means bonito, Ajá. hermoso. Sí, pero lo contrario es... <coughs> Sería feo. Oh, ugly. Ugly, okay. What's ugly. the opposite of tall? Short. That. Skinny. Young. Old. Strong. Um, I forget the devil. <laughs> yeah. Weak. 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 Describe your physical appearance, Claudia. Try to use every word once using both positive and negative sentences. Voy a describirme yo sola. I am beautiful. <laughs> I am... Weak. I am um, medium. Medium what? Medium. Um, no, average. I'm sorry. Average what? No. Um, average height. No, average. Um, in mi edad. No average vieja. age. Uh huh. Eh, but here we're not talking about age. Just try to use the words oh, okay. that you have here. Ah, uh, you could say, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not young and I'm not old. Uh, Claudia, in the middle we say middle age. Middle is para como cuarenta, cincuenta años de edad. I am young. <laughs> uh, and I am um, medium in in estatura. Okay, I'm average height. Height. Average height. Okay, I am. You can say I'm not tall and I'm not short. I'm average mm -hmm. height. And I am not fat, but I am not skinny. Okay, so. How would you say? Uh, I'm average body type. I average body type. Okay. Type. Okay, we use the verb be to talk about our personalities as well. For example, the Grinch is mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what's the opposite of nice? Nice. Um, I know, no recuerdo. Mm. But no. mean, <laughs> mean, smart. Um, <clears throat> what is smart? Uh, inteligente. Inteligente. Um, no sé qué es lo. No sé cómo se dice lo contrario. Dumb. Dumb. Interesting. Interesante. Desinteresante. Boring. Boring. Necesito aprendérmelos, perdón. Bueno, Claudia, tú acabamos de tener las vacaciones de, de invierno, que no tuvimos clase una semana, y después tú estuviste en, en México. Y la semana pasada eh, no viniste a, a dos clases. Uh -huh. Por eso estás un poco perdida hoy. Pero ya, no. ya, ya volviste a Estados Unidos, ya vas a, 
a volver a, a la normalidad, a tu rutina, a los estudios. No, Ese sí. es el problema con, con un idioma. Si uno no está muy arriba de eso, puede empezar a olvidar. Sí. Porque tú no, normalmente eres una alumna estrella. <risa> Gracias, maestro. Sí. Pero sí necesito estudiar. Tú, no tú estás fuera de, de la práctica hoy. Uh -huh. Está bien. Humble. Uh, humble. Es humilde, pero... En the opposite. La otra sería... Conceited. Okay. Conceited. Sí. And what's the opposite of polite? <clears throat> polite es como... Um, como... Respetuoso. Polite no, es o educado. O educado. Educado. Respetuoso, okay. educado. Y lo contrario, no me acuerdo. Rude. Okay, describe your personality, Cla uh, Claudia. Uy. I am um, nice. I am humble. Hum humble. I am uh, polite. And I am smart. <laughs> Tengo puras cosas buenas. <laughs> okay. Y ahora usa palabras negativas también. Negativas. Recuerda uh, que puede decir I am not mean. I am not mean. I am not um, dumb. I am not boring. And I am not rude. Okay. Okay, we use B to talk about professions. For example, I am an artist. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I am the work I am working the I am owner. I am an owner. An owner. Or I am a small business owner, I would say. I am a small business owner. A small business owner, okay. What does your husband do? Uh, he works with me. What do your children do? Uh, they work with me. They work? They work, they work with me. What do your parents do? Hmm. My parents, uh, si no hacen lo mismo, puedo decir uno primero. Claro. O solo puedo decir, they work no. in Mexico. Sí, si sí, hacen dos cosas diferentes, tiene diferentes. que hablar de dos cosas diferentes. Ok, my mom is a house, housewife. And my dad, he is, um, what do you say, agricultor? How do you say? How do you say? Uh, so he's a farmer? He's a farmer. Mm -hmm. Cool. What time is it? <clears throat> it is 8.53. And what is today's date? Today's date is um, January 18. A brother or some brothers? Some brothers. A sister or some sisters? Some sisters. A daughter or a daughter? And daughter. A daughter. A daughter. Daughter doesn't begin with a vowel. A son or in sons? A son. Some children or some children's? Mm, some children. Some fathers or some parents? Some parents. A father or in fathers? A father. A uncle or an uncle? An uncle. What? An uncle. 
An uh, ant or an ant? An ant. <laughs> a mother or an mothers? A mother. Okay. What does this mean in Spanish? Enorme. A gigante. Avanzada. Um, increíble. What about awesome? Awesome es, es como increíble, ¿no? También. Puede ser increíble, asombroso. Asombroso. Uh -huh. Amazing. Um, como igual, asombroso. Impresionante. Impresionante. Uh, sharp. I forget what is sharp. Bueno, sharp y clear puede referir a, a una imagen tanto como sonido, como algo muy claro. Ok. <coughs> y de high performance es alta, alta um, rendimiento. Rendimiento. Y quality, no sé qué es quality. Calidad. Alta calidad. calidad y hay capacidad y hay tecnología, ¿será? All right, tell me, are these sentences polite or rude? Hi, my name is David. What is your name? Um, polite. Can we practice English? Polite. How old are you? Polite. In the United States, this would be considered <laughs> rude. Rude, okay. How much money do you make? Uh, rude. Where do you work? Uh, polite. How much is your car worth? Uh, rude. 